I don't know about you being against modern football, but... We're ready. <laughs> I'm already changed. She's kind of wearing that. <laughs> oh, but you're talking about soccer. Soccer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, what was it like to get back into these guys' skins again? Great. It was good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was good. We, we miss playing these characters. We've got great dialogue to say, and, and we have a good time acting together, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, Jerry, for example, now, a turtle, he's moved on, he's, he's earning... He's earned so much money and what have you. And obviously, between season seven and the, yes. the film, you lost a, your character lost a lot of weight. And but you're still the same guy. You're still driving the guys around. Yeah, I think that's what uh, that's kind of the heart and soul of what what this group is. Is no matter who's having success or who's down, you know the the pecking order stays the same. Like my character is a multimillionaire now, but he's still yeah. driving Vince and the guys to their meetings and stuff. And Johnny Drama, who's you know, throughout the course of the show, has been on series. He's still cooking Vince breakfast, and <laughs> Vince has been down and out, but we still treated him like the movie star that we thought he was. So that's always what kept the crew together. And the kernel of, of the story is still there in terms of you know Vince, Hollywood, with your mates. And isn't that what makes the difference with, with a show like this? I mean, you look at something like say Citizen Kane, where a guy gets great wealth and fame, what have you, and it, it seems worthless. But the idea of a guy bringing his mates over from Queens. That's got to help because you got this. It's like a cocoon. Sure. I mean, we're we're working class guys who happen to have an opportunity to live an extravagant lifestyle with endless options, resources, and very little consequence. So, I think that's the fun of the show. It's an escape for the audience, and they get to come along the ride with us. Yeah. Just wondering, Kevin, playing drama, <laughs> you seem to really get off on it. Yeah? <laughs> it's a fun character. No pun he's, just, he's such a nut job. He, um, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't protect him during the show. I, I liked him to be a little wild, and uh, I, 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 I love how explosive he can be. But he's also got such a big heart, and he would do anything for the guys and, his, and for his brother. And that, that's what makes him likable. You root for him, and you feel sorry for him because he struggles so much. He gets seems to get in his own way constantly. And then back working again with Cherry with Pervin. Uh, how is he uh, when you're when you're shooting the scene? What kind of guy is he? Because he he seems to be a very strong, physical kind of actor. He's, he, yeah, he's quite wacky. <laughs> he certainly comes out of nowhere with a lot of things that you know. I guess he learned from being you know Chicago-based thespian. Yeah, yeah. well, that's got his background as a family yeah. brand. Yeah. But they got a theater group or something like that. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. Very yeah prestigious. Theater background. So he, he can talk English proper and things like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, he, he gives off so much energy in the scene because that's the, the character is so, you know, gives off so much energy. So uh, I think he has to keep it going in between takes. And then uh, on days off, I'm sure he's probably a lot more <laughs> reserved and probably mm -hmm. resting. Yeah, I'm just wondering when, it, when the, the film was being envisaged, any of you kind of go, maybe not? Or was it yes straight away? Did you have to think about it? I think we all wanted to do it, you know. Uh, we love, we love the show. We missed it, uh, so we all wanted to do it. But there was a risk, and what if it's not good? We didn't want to ruin the legacy of the show, that which we thought was really good. And we feel like we made a pretty good movie, so we're happy about that. So it's quite smart the way they moved. It, it only moved on slightly. Like right. we were straight into Vince and the book, and you know, getting the guys together and what have you. So it was kind of for fans of the series, they could go, oh yeah, and. For people who have never even seen it before, they can kind of just click into it straight away. This ride is so high momentum and high octane that you there's no room for hesitation. Like you're either with it, you go all the way, or just don't even show up. I mean, so we know that we got to be there, we got to be present, we got to be snappy, and that's the way the show has always been. And it's it's a fun ride that you know is going to knock you out. Yeah, it was a conscious decision too to make sure to not exclude fans, uh, moviegoers who maybe hadn't seen the show. So uh, I think we did a, a good job at that. And it was premeditated. We wanted people walking in for the first time to even still have a sense of who these guys are, which is the kind of opening piece with Piers Morgan, who's designed to do that. Even if you've never seen a Vincent Chase movie, chances are you've heard the name. Chase hails from Queens, New York, where he's surrounded by a group of loyal friends. Friends who still surround him today. Nobody leave. Check you. You could go. 
take me for a round. I last 30 seconds, you let me take you out on the date. Last 60 seconds, I'll let you How much time? Three seconds. I just wanted to take you to dinner.